dagger marvel's dagger figure that i made it's a custom dagger uh, of course if you're familiar with marvel legends there already is a dagger figure and this is my version of it um i made a couple of small mods this won't take very long to explain um, as most of what i've made is coming from the original dagger so let's go ahead and talk about that directly by bringing out the old dagger so we can talk about uh, what's different and what's what's new or what's changed and what's been modified um, so on my dagger we have a shorter figure um, so one of the things that I uh, always try to aim for it's like my number one priority is uh, is um, scaling um, making sure that characters are short that, that are supposed to be short tall are supposed to be tall and those are in between are in between so dagger is five foot five officially from Marvel this to me is not five foot five so I made her shorter um, so again uh, just to go back it is pretty much the same figure part for part as well um, using the same um, you know my custom uses the exact same shoes uh, the exact same lower legs um, from an actual dagger so I did repaint everything white so you can see quite a bit of a difference just in, in the video how white this white plastic is compared to the white that's much brighter um, white that's painted so I did paint all of the white parts even though I took them directly from a white plastic that is you know from dagger but the thighs are is where we are start our first difference here and this is another reason why I have to paint everything because if I were to paint the thighs which were originally red um, and then not paint the rest of the leg then you would have two different tones of white so that's why even though it's already white I still have to paint it white so uh, going back like I said the thighs were originally red because it came from a Miss Marvel figure uh, I don't have one of those on hand but uh, it is just you know the old Miss Marvel, which is basically the same as what's on this X23. Uh, these thighs here are these thighs right here, which are quite a bit shorter, so that brings her down um, as much as you can see here in this height comparison. Uh, the lower torso is the exact same though, still from this dagger. So all the inside of here that's not painted. I didn't paint the. The pin I didn't paint the inside of there because it's already white and you're not going to see it anyway so who cares right uh, but it just makes it a lot easier to um, not have to worry about painting on the inside of there uh, the lower torso like I said is the same um, you can see it still have the same kind of pattern but once we get to the upper torso that's when you start to notice the big difference and the uh, the more accurate torso of dagger I would say um, I hated this dagger. Uh, ooh, bah. I hated this dagger, this dagger when it came out specifically for this reason. Because, yeah, she's got nothing going on up there, um, and I always hated this dagger because of that. Because I'm like, that's that's not accurate. That's not how she's supposed to look. She's supposed to have that. She's supposed to have these going on here, and I'm struggling with balancing these things today. But we'll get through. Um, so yeah, that was the biggest reason why I made this change. Is because I wanted to have her to be more accurate to how she's supposed to look, both in height and body type. Um, so it's all there, but everything else is, again, same arms um, and same head. Um, going back to the chest, uh, the chest is just your standard Marvel Legends chest. This one came from a Sheikla. But you can also use uh, Lady Deadpool or Shriek. They're all the same. You know, just paint it as you need to. I did reference, though. I did actually go to comic book references to try to make sure that the look was accurate. Um, and 
you know the paint is placed properly and painted properly for the dagger um as i was i was a youngin i always thought this was actually a cross and i you know it took me you, you know like how you uh listen to a song forever ever since you're a kid you don't pay attention to the lyrics and then when you grow up you start paying attention to the lyrics it's like oh that's what they're actually saying yeah I, as a kid i always thought that this was a, a cross and obviously her name is dagger it's a dagger this entire time i i'm stupid um but when uh, i was looking at those references i noticed that she had a chain or an, a necklace um some some of like the statues and the mini bus you know some of the other memorabilia she'll have a, a actual necklace and then actually looking at comics she has a necklace so i took the necklace from shikla and it's normally like a double necklace so uh, there's like another inside piece so i cut that inside piece out and remove the red paint that's on these uh balls parts the ball the you know circular areas on the uh, necklace just remove the red paint so it's just a gold necklace now um, and just threw that on there and that's about it uh, again painting it's all you know just white there's nothing uh, fancy about her paint job whatsoever uh, going to the face so when I did that it's the exact same head um, obviously because I had to paint new flesh tone on her hands and her chest and stuff I repainted the face as well so that's all matching so it doesn't look off color so I did end up having to remove the white crescent on her face um, and removed her eyebrow color um, but that was it I took off the hair sanded it and removed like I said the the white crescent moon and the eyebrow color uh, sanded that primed it and then you know keeping her eye color and all of the white and the blue the same um, not touching that whatsoever just carefully painted around and tried my best to not mess up her lip color or her eyes so that way it looks like it's still coming from the factory uh, it can actually use a little bit of a touch up if we're talking about the face um, it could be a little bit cleaner or just have a little bit more uh, paint on there just to tighten it up a little bit more but it's serviceable and it's fine to me um, I glue the hair back on after I put my flat or excuse me, my matte finish on her face. I did mess up her lip just a little bit right here. Um, just a little bit too much flesh tone paint and it got a little on her lip, but it's not that big of a deal. It's hardly noticeable from a distance. Um, other than that is, like I said, I had to repaint that crescent on her face. Um, you can use a little bit more flesh tone paint, but um, all in all, that's it. There, There's nothing else uh, particularly special about this. Unless you, if you wanted to do this yourself, get rid of the old dagger. Um, if you wanted to do this yourself and give her double jointed arms, that would be really cool. Um, there are ways to get those arms. If you have a, which I actually have right behind me. If you could acquire another spinneret, you already have white arms right here. Um, or if you want to sacrifice your spinneret. And remove the red paint that's on the uh, shoulders there then you have some double jointed pinless white arms that you can throw on dagger really quick and easy um, other than that you probably just have to get them from any other figure that has double jointed pinless arms and figure out how to uh, paint them maybe you could uh, use writ dye try that formula of uh, dunking the plastic into writ dye that would be white i guess if they have white writ dye i don't really know i've never done it before but that would be a way if it does work so you don't have to worry about uh that middle you know the joint for the elbow um but i'm going to be working with double jointed pinless elbows and legs pretty soon so hopefully i'll have a guide going up speaking of guides i did just post in my last video uh, a quick actually it's not quick it's pretty long how to prep your action figure for customizing so if you're curious on how to get started on customizing a figure go check out my last video um, it is a lengthy one but it, because the process can get a little bit you know lengthy and the, the whole process of making a custom 
can be a little lengthy. Uh, it is a lengthier video, but it is there for anyone that wants to get started. Let's go ahead and do a comparison, uh, and then we'll get out of here. All right, and here's the comparison you're probably waiting for. Um, here's cloak and dagger, because obviously you have to have them both. Um, I'm going to take a shot of this. It actually took me a couple of minutes to set this up. Not really sure how I wanted to do it. I do have the body for cloak not on him. It's just the head and the cloak, like kind of how he's always drawn. Um, so I am going to like take a picture and try to find a really good angle for this, but I thought this was pretty good um, as is. I'll just get you around here so you can see a little bit more, but yeah, it's, it, this is pretty cool. I wish I actually had my um, Marvel toys out. I should say the not X-Men or not Marvel vs. Capcom related characters out on display because they're all in boxes. I had to actually get my dagger, excuse me, my cloak out of the box and dig that out um, just so I can do this shot and do this video um, because all of my Avengers and street level heroes and stuff, I don't have a place for them on my display. So they're all in boxes in my closet. So um, you're welcome for me digging through that box to find uh, cloaks so I can do this shot and uh, make this video. But yeah, uh, I like what I got going on here. Uh, the only thing that would make it better is, like I said, if I had an extra spinneret or there were a, a plentiful amount of uh, double jointed pinless arms that were all white already uh, in, in the uh, in the market and I could just use those instead of these old arms that don't bend very much that would be awesome um, but if you really love dagger I think it is well worth the money to spin and and buy secondhand spinneret or you know do whatever you have to do to, to get her arms to be white and put them on this uh, and it would be really cool and then you'll have because again if you have the old dagger the actual old figure this is cool and all and it works you know it's fine but she's so tall um, in comparison like she's just way too tall and obviously she doesn't have the right body type um, this works a lot better together I will do a, a real quick um, video segment with dagger in his body form so you can see how they look next to each other but I'm gonna take a quick a couple shots of this while I have it up all right now here is cloak and dagger cloak and is he actually has a body form he, he can stand there um, but yeah you can see just a let's go real quick swap this back in there how how uh, they compare you can see how much shorter she is here. Maybe throw her in front. Or not, that doesn't help. <laughs> side by side. But yeah, she's she's shorter. So um I don't I don't personally want her to be that tall, so I made her shorter. Um uh, I've done this before with like wasp. And in fact, speaking of wasp, I will with all the giant man has lab and the the wasp stuff uh, that came out I was holding off on remaking that wasp again um, so it would be my third time <laughs> making a wasp figure uh, but this time I'm gonna do it right but I wanted to hold off and see what they were going to do um, with the has lab and they announced her first appearance costume which I in general like the way it looks but it still looks like it's going to be way taller than I want it to be for Wasp. So I most likely won't buy that figure uh, when it comes out. And later in sometime in 2024, I'll end up making all of the Wasps that I ever want. And she will be five foot four, So she should be shorter than what I made this even. So um, yeah. Because right now the wasp build that I have, she's about this tall. So I'm gonna make her even shorter than this, because she's supposed to be five foot four. Um, so yeah, I'll, that's a whole nother thing for next year, whenever I get to it. But thanks for joining me for this video. I'll post some more shots again, like the one I was just setting up before on Instagram. So go check out my Instagram if you want to see those shots and other posts. 
Um, like I said, also earlier in the video, I have a how-to video um, that just went up recently. So go check that out if you're into customs or you, you're new to them, you want to know more about uh, how to make them or that some of that process go check that out also leave questions ask questions i can make more tutorial videos if you ask so just let me know down there in the comment section below uh like and subscribe this to this channel so like this video subscribe to the channel leave comments um be uh happy and merry um happy thanksgiving i don't know when this video is going to go up maybe the day before um hopefully and yeah i will see you guys next time i do have another custom that's already done and i will see you then peace